Hey. Hi, hi. everyone. Hi, everyone. Okay, let's let some people get in. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Hello. We're so excited to do this interview. We rarely do <laughs> interviews, so we thought it would be fun if we oh, did it. Here. Oh, she's in. Let's do it. Hi, Yaya. Quick. So Yaya Gosling Gosselin. plays Miss Gosling. Sorry, forgive me, Yaya. Plays uh, Missy, and the role. Beyond proud of her. So we wanted to go live. Hi. 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 Hello, all the way from California. Yes. You are in New York. Yes, How I am. How is it going? It's going great. It's very cold, but I think I'm adjusting to it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Have you been able to get out a little bit and enjoy the city? I know it's a pandemic, but. Yeah, um, we've been able to go on walks. You know, um, we can, they closed indoor dining, but we can eat out on patios with heaters. So that's been really fun. Oh, nice. You know, just trying to do as much as we can in the pandemic. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, just so everyone that's like coming in, I really wanted to sit down with the two of you. Although I'm in the film, I play Red Lightning Fury. I'm just so proud of all the kids. I want to start out saying that and I hope we can go live with all of the characters. But I really was just proud of you specifically because this is your first film, correct? Uh, yeah, one of my first films. Yeah, and, well, probably the biggest you've ever been a part yeah. of. Yes. Mostly. Yes, and um, I just think it's so cool. I'm all about girl power, and <laughs> I love that Robert decided that the leader of the group was going to be a female. So can you just start off telling me what your audition process was like for it? And I'm going to ask Isaiah questions as well. So, Isaiah, I'm going to ask you the same question, even though I know the answer. What was your audition process you like? You were part of the answer. <laughs> Um, my audition process, I was in LA at the time, oops, and I got the audition. Um, I, it's funny because I went to my coach and he didn't even want to pay my mom. He's like, she doesn't need to be coached. She's fine. So I didn't end up really getting coached and I went and did the audition and didn't hear anything for like a month. And I thought, okay, it's, it's gone, you know, whatever. Um, move on to the next thing. Um, and then... Like months later on Easter, I my mom got an email that we had a director session with Robert, and that's where I met him. And it, I mean, I think it went pretty well. I think on um, on almost every audition I do, like I can't remember it fully when I walk out of the audition room. Like it's a little bit fuzzy in my brain. Um, but I think it went pretty well. I definitely flubbed a little bit. Um, and then like a week or two later, I got the chemistry read, and then I met um, Nathan and Lion. Uh, and then from there, my mom probably found out that I booked it like a week later. Um, and then I found out and it was one of the best days of my entire life. <laughs> so it was a long process for you. Interesting. Because yeah. Isaiah, tell everyone what your process was like. So while you guys were auditioning, I was actually working on my Netflix show, Family Reunion. So I couldn't go in to see Robert, uh, to audition in front of Robert in person. And... Before I really knew about the audition, knew about the project, my mom heard about it from Akira's mom. Yeah. <laughs> so my, uh, my mom was like, oh, I think my son should be a part of this. This is a really good <laughs> project. So she called my manager, was like, hey, can you help us out? Can you get, uh, um, help Isaiah read for this project? And she was like, yeah, I'll, I'll call them right now. My mom was like, now? It's like 1130 in the... Uh, at night, she was like, "No, I'm calling them now." So I don't know. Um, um, I don't know what she did, but she called them. They were like, at first, they were like, "No, we already have the uh, kids we want." And then she somehow convinced them to let me read for the role of Rewind. So I auditioned on a Saturday on morning. a Saturday morning, taped it because I had to do a sub tape. And on a Monday morning, I got the call and I booked it. Wow, <laughs> like forty eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. So it was, it's kind of fun. Um, I want to know what drew you to this project while um, you decided to be a part of it. Yeah, I think it just drew me um, the fact that, you know, it was a female lead and even more a Hispanic lead and, you know, just how many kids there were too, because my past roles have been in very dark, scary, like horror, dramatic kind of films and TV. 
Um, that's the kind of show that I'm working on now. Okay. Um, and I just wanted something different. I wanted something that me and my family could watch, not just watch my scenes, but watch the entire movie and enjoy it with my sisters. That's something that I wanted so much. And then when I finally got the opportunity, I was like, yes. And so I, I think for this role, I, I usually don't like hope and pray that I get something. I like l let it go with the flow and, you know, you know, just let, it's yes. really hard to explain, but I just no, I get didn't it. want to get too excited about it. Yeah. Um, but in my mind, I was like, please let me book it, please let me book it, please let me book it. Please let me book it. <laughs> and then I guess I hoped enough because I booked it and I could not believe. And so I was so happy that me and my family could all sit around and watch it. Yeah, you know what, well, you mentioned the other roles that you have, and that's something that you and Isaiah both have in common that I think is really cool. Um, you know, before filming this movie, Isaiah, what other shows did you work on? Uh, Family Reunion, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, SWAT. SWAT. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta think about it. Uh, uh, SWAT. I, I would say Criminal Minds, because that was a while before yeah. I got the audition. Yeah. So... Yeah, it so, was just one. Yeah, SWAT, 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 criminal SWAT, minds, SWAT, criminal minds, and family. Reunion. Yeah, so I think with you as well, I know you're on a show. Can you tell us what show you're on right now? Uh, yes, I'm on FBI Most Wanted. Yes, but in our comments, um, in our caption yesterday about the live, I mentioned that we both recur on a Netflix show, and. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to work together, but I think yeah. it's so awesome. So, you guys, I, I got a lot of DMs asking me what show it was. Yaya, can you tell them what show you recur on on Netflix? Yes, I recur on 13 Reasons Why. Um, my brother in the show is Christian Navarro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what was it like working on that show? Oh, my gosh. Christian was so nice and so cool. My mom, I think my mom freaked out more than I did because she had watched the show and I hadn't. So she, like, freaked out when she saw, like, his car and, like, just was, like, totally, like, oh, my God. And then for me, you know, it was a new acting, a new acting experience. So I was, like, so excited. Um, yeah, and he was really, really nice. And then when I came back in season three, I think. Yeah, I can't I can't remember uh, when I came back, you know, we did like a cool scene in a gym and I got to meet a lot of the other cast members, which is really cool. Um, yeah, it was a great experience and I loved where it filmed. It was so nice there. Yeah, a lot of people think it's filmed in L.A., but your scenes were filmed. Was it Oakland? Because that's where I filmed. Um, yeah, it was kind of near um, San Francisco, kind of like outside of San Francisco. OK, kind of. I don't really know exactly where it is, but it's like outside of San Francisco, I think. Okay, okay. Do you have any questions for us? Uh, yes, I think I do. Um, Hit us with it. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know if they're gonna be as cool as your questions, but I will try. <laughs> um, Isaiah, what inspired you to be an actor? What inspired me to be an actor? Well, I grew up around a lot of people in the business since my mom is in the business. So I was really going through the same experiences as my mom with her auditioning or um, booking projects and going like shooting stuff. I was always there. And being around all those people, I guess that inspired me to be an actor as well. At first I didn't want to do it. And then <laughs> one like one random time while my mom, uh, we were driving home after school, I was like, I I think I want to do this. I thought about it for a second. I was like, yeah, I think I'm ready. My mom was like, mm -mm, nope, not gonna I happen. I always tell people like I, I said no, because I don't think people understand how difficult it is to just be an actor alone, but mm -hmm. to do it and, and be your, I mean, you're 11 and he yes. was 12 when he started. I was just like, I, that rejection, I, I can't imagine kids going through that and being okay. So I, yeah. it terrified me. I, I didn't want him to be in the business. But. Yeah, I had to beg for a year straight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely tough getting all the rejection. It's something that I had to learn, like, if you, because I learned that if you get, if you linger on a project for too long, you're like, oh, man, I wish I could have done that, whatever, and you're so devastated. I feel like it blocks you from what, you could do later because I had an audition before Heroes that like I was like 
the I was like the second girl up for it. I was like almost 100% sure that I was going to book it. And then they chose with a different girl because I wasn't dark enough. And that really hurt me because I was like, couldn't I have gotten like a spray tan or something? Like, you know, and it, it got made me so mad because I think people, you know, Latina, whatever, I think they can be any color. Any you don't color. have to be dark to be Hispanic, right? Yeah. So, because my, my grandma, my great grandma, she looks like Caucasian. She's very, mm -hmm. very, very fair. Mm -hmm. So that really hurt me. And I feel like if I would have lingered on that for too long, I wouldn't have been focused um, for heroes and I probably wouldn't even have booked it. So I think it's very important to not take rejection too, too serious. <laughs> mm. Well, speaking of that, you know, there are a lot of kids that I'm, I'm looking at the comments right now that are saying, I want to be an actor. You guys are inspiring me. What advice would the two of you give to kids that want to tackle this business? You want to start this one? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, whenever you um, get no for an answer, just make that your motivation to keep going. Because whenever I have a no, I'm like, oh, I'm going to take that no and I'm going to put it into this audition so that maybe I can get a yes. That's kind of my thing that I do. Um, and I think also um, a lot of people in school and even sometimes in my family, people would kind of make fun of me for being an actor. Like, um, yeah. oh, funny, you're an actor. Ha, oh, you think you're so great. Like, yeah. and that that hurt a little bit. I was like, I really want to do this. So I say no matter what people tell you, always believe if you if this is truly what you want to do and you don't just want to do it for the buck and the fame stick with it yeah dang you kind of you kind of took my answer no um, sorry no 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 <laughs> I, I would say don't let anyone tell you you can't accomplish your dreams because if it's something you really want to do then you should just go at it without listening to anybody else mm -hmm. and I, I always tell Isaiah too and I hope both of you guys remember this and anybody that's watching you know stay in your own lane Oftentimes we look at others and when they're succeeding, it's like, oh, like we try I wish, to copy them. Yeah, I wish I could do that. But I, I firmly believe that we each have a special, our own journey. Yeah, we each have our own journey. And so it's just important that you stay focused on your path and your yeah. path alone. You know, yeah, don't be influenceable. That's yeah, what yes, don't, yes, yes. Don't make other people influence you to be. Right, right. Okay. And do you have any questions? Because we, we've been asking. Um, I do have one question for you, Isaiah, because you guys are from Texas originally. Um, I have to ask you this. Whataburger or In-N-Out? Oh, goodness. Uh -oh. oh, man. Um, oh, snap. I, I really have to say Whataburger. Whataburger really? is so good. Yes. I I've been, my grandma. Yeah, I've been craving Whataburger so much lately because they don't have Dang. it here. Yeah. So I have a question for you guys. Now, what a lot of people don't know, and I, I'm looking at the comments, the parents rarely filmed with the kids. You guys actually rapped, and then we did most of our scenes. So, um, but you, it was a different situation. You had a few days to just film with Pedro alone. And I'm a huge fan of him. I mean, this man had multiple movies come out during Christmas. He's everything. What was it like working with him, and what was your takeaway as an actor? Oh my gosh, working with Pedro was, he's just like the funnest person he really on the is. planet. He like, you just have, you feel like every single time you're with Pedro, you feel like you're like having a party. It's like, he's just so fun. And yeah. it's funny because, um, you know, I feel like all the advice that he did give me was in his acting. Like, I feel like he didn't really have to tell me because I could take away stuff from what he was doing, like his um, his body motions and how he was doing lines. And I just kind of took that away with me. And it's funny because I said the one thing that he really did try to do was not curse in front of me on set. And <laughs> I really appreciated that, um, even though he may have done it a few times on accident. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I say you were the because I was in the film I, you know obviously um Isaiah was with me when I was filming all the scenes yeah. so he got a chance to just hang out with the adults for two weeks um who did you enjoy hanging out with who did you well I'm not just saying this because you're my mom 
you. And who else outside of me? So I gotta say, I gotta say Quentin. He's hilarious. Yeah, Quentin is funny. I love hanging out. With, he brought his dog to set, so I got to uh, uh, hang out with his dog too. But Quentin is hilarious. He is super funny. He he knows a lot about video games too, and he uh, um, he can play piano. So I asked him for a for a little for a few tips on playing piano. <laughs> yeah. And for those who are watching, like Quinn plays Isaiah's dad and my mm -hmm. husband in the movie. And Quentin, I don't know if you guys know this, but he was in Hamilton. Did you know that? Mm, I'm trying to think. He was? Yes. Yeah. So he wasn't a part of their original cast. He was a part of the cast that came right after. So oh. he is a pretty brilliant. You have to check him out, like his Instagram uh, page. Oh so God. I have some fun questions to ask you guys. Um, and I'm going to ask everybody who's in um, the live to get your questions ready. This is what we call our lightning round. Ooh. Okay. okay. And you have to answer quickly. The first thing that comes to mind. All right. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite TV show and movie? Go. Um, right now, my favorite TV show is Julie and the Phantoms. Oh! <laughs> Yes. And my favorite movie right now is probably, I don't know, so I'm going to say We Can Be Heroes because I have no idea. Uh, okay, what's your favorite TV show and favorite okay. movie? Julia and the Phantoms is fire. We have watched that series seven times. <laughs> Me too. It's, it's just so good. Sometimes I just listen to it for the music too. The music yeah. is great. Yeah. But my favorite movie, ooh. Oh, that's so much. Ahead. I like the princess switch. <gasps> oh my god, you do! I was about to say that. I love the Anne Hathaway and Julie Andrews are some of my favorite actresses ever. Yeah, I mean, we like anything that has like a musical feel. That quality, <laughs> it's it's really fun. Um, okay, what is your go-to guilty pleasure when it comes to food? Like, what's your go-to? Thing. I love fries. I can eat fries oh my gosh. for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and what about you, Isaiah? Donuts. Oh, donuts. oh yeah. We, we get into it on set about donuts. That's my weakness. Mm -hmm. If there's a donut in front of me, I got to eat it. It's all bad. What about you, Yaya? My mom would smack my hand and be like, no. Exactly. I, I, I didn't get a chance to have a donut on set. Um, mine right now, being in New York, there are bodegas everywhere, like around the corner. So right now, mine is a chopped cheese. It's like a chopped cheeseburger on a hoagie okay. with peppers and onions. It is so good, and I will have it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I've literally had it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's so funny. Okay, favorite video game? <sighs> right now, it's Roblox. I like Roblox. I, yeah, I'm not the biggest <laughs> gamer. Okay. Me neither. I haven't really had much time to play that many video games. But my favorite video game, can I say mobile and console? My favorite. Yeah. Okay, so on console, I have an Xbox. I love to play Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront, the first one. And um, <laughs> I love to play Pixel Gun 3D on my iPad and my phone. He's been playing nice. Pixel Gun 3D for ever. So he like his throwback game. I haven't played since 2017. <laughs> okay. So tell us one of the funniest moments that's ever happened to you on set. Yeah, yeah, you can go first. Um, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to say this, mm, this is hard because we had so many funny moments on and off set, but one of the funniest moments on set was probably when we were like, we had just started filming and um, we would, when we were in the classroom, we would start singing, we will rock you, like, we will, we will. and then Brian would be like, guys, stop, like, yeah. stop, and we would just keep doing it and keep doing it, and now looking back on it, I feel so bad for Brian, because we were such a handful, and, like, he was, he was a trooper, man, I love Brian. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, in your defense, it's a bunch of kids. We were, so we were kids. kids. You know, and you we were going all summer. You, you guys got to have a little bit of fun. Yeah. So what about you? Well, hold on. I have one. That's one not going to mention it. So people are, have DM'd both of us asking about uh, the moment when you guys are running from the aliens and you stop and Isaiah goes into the split. That was, oh my God. I didn't think he would keep that. I did not I, think he would keep that. Oh, my God. Did that you scene, notice that? Yeah, we had to we had to take that scene so many times because somebody would either trip and fall over somebody else, <laughs> or somebody would slip, or somebody would laugh. Trip, yes. fall, slip. It's just laugh. like 
sorry. We so could not stop. So running. many things that would happen while we were running down the hall. Yeah, it's it was like it was like not not that long of a hallway either, and I'm like, we're, we were just we couldn't contain ourselves. And then when every I just laugh every single time when Isaiah goes into the smoke, it's like, ah! and it wasn't on purpose. Time. For some reason, that one part was the slipperiest part of the floor. <laughs> hey, but it paid off because that was hilarious. Hey, it was funny. Okay, I have a question for both of you. If you could take um, one of your castmates, including the parents, their um, superhero power, who would it be and why? I'm going to have to say either, I'm going to have to say Miss Granada. Okay. Or, or Wheels. Probably. Wills, you know what? Ooh. I hope Andy, you're watching. I Andy, live for Wills. It. Me too. Definitely one of my favorite characters. In I think, and I mean, I feel like you know, the mission wouldn't have been complete without him and his smarts. Exactly, so. exactly. Yeah. He's such yeah. a talented actor. All the oh kids God. are. They're really just amazing. What about you? I think the power that I'd have would be either Wild Card because she has yeah every power. Yeah. So I don't need to worry about someone else beating me out. Yeah. Um, wheels. Yeah. Wheels. The wheelchair is so cool. Oh, my God. The motorcycle. The motorcycle. The uh, motorcycle wheels. wheelchair. I, I don't know how Andy was so good at riding that thing. He I, tried. Tried. I tried three times to do that little drift thing that he did. <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what would you guys like to see happen in um, – part two if there's a sequel um i would like to see um i'd like to see missy and oho's like relationship become like a a, f a really really good friendship and like them be like best friends you know partners in crime i would love to see that relationship unfold you know, and I, I think that's cool i really do I, but i would and not, not saying this because she plays my baby in it but i was able to witness the dynamic between all the kids because I was both the mom on set and, you know, your co-star. And I remember looking at you, Akira, and um, Lotus, because, you know, you guys are the oldest girls and you guys were talking. And I was like, now that is girl power right there. And you're, uh, we don't know what your, your power is going to be just yet. So that's why we need a part two. Mm -hmm. But the three of you guys were really kick some butt together. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm okay. really thinking about what your power would be. I, I wonder also, what the I, options are. I've also been thinking, and I feel like everybody is, you know, we've I've gotten DMs from girls saying, like, you not having a superpower, like, really made a difference in the film. And, like, I love that you don't have a superpower and that, mm -hmm. I the and that like, your power is a real power and is more, you know, relatable. And yeah. so I feel like, if I'm being completely honest, I hope that Robert is listening. Um, I don't think I want to get superpowers in the sequel. I know that's a stretch, but like, I really think that Missy, her not having powers is what makes her Missy Moreno, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. She doesn't need it to she be. Yeah, need. exactly. Yeah. I, I actually, I think leadership alone is a superpower that mm -hmm. a lot of people lack. And yeah. I, and I, I do, I think that's, that's awesome what you just said. Yeah, what about you, but? Wait, say the question one more time. Well, I'm saying, what would you like to see for your character? What would I like to see for my character? I really want to dive in more to uh, my family's dynamic, uh, see our relationship more in the uh, movie, yeah. and and your powers. We don't know. Oh what yeah, my I don't know. Are. Yeah, I don't know what my powers are. Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't even. Think I was about thinking that. about how we inherited Fast Forward and Rewind, so I was yeah, like, how? my mom like pause yeah. and my dad's play or. I was just thinking about it for days, wondering what my mom's power was. So yeah. I'm really hoping that we get to see that. Yeah. And I'm hoping to do more tricks in the um in part two. Yeah. I what think Miss I think Miss Brittany and Mr. Quinton have one of the funniest parts of the film. Yeah. When when you guys are on the rooftop and you're like, ladies first and you're like, I don't need your dad show her and like, oh and you're like, How dare you? And then you get taken away. That's like one of my favorite parts. And my dad and my mom and me and my sisters, we all laugh so hard at that part. It's like one of the funniest parts in the movie. Thank you. I forgot because you guys weren't there. So that was yeah. so nice for you to see. Yeah. <laughs> it it was actually kind of crazy that we were shooting like looking at our parents that were not even there. 
Yeah. Everything was green screen. Everything was green screen. We only shot with the, well, you shot with Pedro more, but everyone else only shot with their parents like once. at the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fun. Okay, so what I find amusing about you, all of you, um, a lot of the actors, you know, you guys are newcomers to quote unquote newcomers to the business. And a lot of people don't know the work that you guys have done outside of We Can Be Heroes, you know. Um, and I, I just want to take a moment to talk about what you guys want for the future. Because We Can Be Heroes is out, it's done. And you have a series, Isaiah, you have a series. What do you guys see in, happening for you in the next like five years, your careers? Like what, what are your goals? Um, my goal is probably to book one or two uh, studio films okay. um, and maybe possibly maybe do like recurring or a series regular on a series. Um, I, I'm thinking about that now. I think, you know, with New Year's, I did something, I do it almost every year where I take my journal and I write down everything that I want to accomplish in the next five to ten years. So okay. in 2025 or 2026, what do I want to have accomplished, right? So I've been thinking about that, and I really want to book a film or a television series with horses because I'm an equestrian in real life. So I would love to put my ability to work with horses into a film. That would be so cool. Okay, nice. What about you, Isaiah? Me, I do want to do more film work and um, more television. But also, I want to write, direct, and produce my own content with my mom as my partner. Yeah, okay, thank you. I feel like there is still a lack of diversity in this business. So I'm inspired by people like Michael B. Jordan, um, people who are making their own content, including people who are not represented as much, like Latina actors, um, Black actors. Uh, people in the LGBTQ community. So that's definitely something that I want to do. I want to follow in their footsteps. No, that's yeah. so cool. That's, that's incredible. Yeah. All right. Speaking of diversity, I will say this. Um, and this is if any of the cast members are watching. I think that that is the best part about being a part of this project. Um, I know when I saw the billboard, I, I teared up. I remember FaceTiming your mom, and I was like, oh, my God, it's 1 a.m. there. I'm so sorry, because <laughs> I was so excited. Because it, every race was represented. Like, you look at yes. Dylan, who plays Slow Mo, who is hilarious, by the way. You know, to see him and his dad in the film, like, it's just awesome. Did you guys think about that when you were on set? Was it, were you looking at each other like, this is cool. Like, everyone's represented here. Yeah, I think... I saw it more when the movie came out and when yeah. it was like, coming from all over the world. I think that I saw, I saw it in the beginning, but I feel like I see it more now yeah. that everybody, I think why it's getting received so much and why everybody likes it is because you can go all around the world and everybody can kind of see themselves in one of the characters mm -hmm. or whatever part of the world they're in, you know, because mm -hmm. this cast is so diverse and they're like, oh, I can be like that kid because she or he looks like me, you know? And I think that that's so just incredible and amazing. Yeah. I mean, at such a young age, the two of you, you've already worked with some heavy hitters. Like, you worked opposite The Mandalorian. Is there an actor or a dream role in particular? Like, I know, Isaiah, you have a specific role. What's the role that you're, like, dying to book? Oh, man. I want to play Miles Morales in the live-action movie. That is something i always wanted to do. But yeah, yeah, you've already worked with so many incredible actors, <laughs> even, you know, on your, your new show. Um, who else? Is there someone that you're like, I just really want to work with? Because for me, it's Meryl Streep. I live for that one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> me, too. I love Meryl Streep. She was so funny in the prom. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I, I really, really want to work with Dan Levy. <laughs> um, that's, like, probably my dream person to be with. He was on a hilarious show called Shit's Creek, and I love him so much. And I would also probably want to work with... Uh, Mm, probably like Julie Andrews. That'd be so incredible. Okay. Um, I love Julie Andrews so much. 
I don't know. I mean, that's, that's something that I, some heavy hitters. That, yeah, that. I have to. I have to think because you know a lot of the people that I want to work with aren't like huge names. They're like kind of names that are really starting to get like you know big. Yeah. And so a lot of when I say like I want to work with so and so, they're like, I'm sorry, who is that? I have no idea who that is. I'm yeah. like, oh, but you're gonna know who he is someday. <laughs> um, but yeah, Dan Levy is a big one. He's so funny. Yeah, so I hear, speaking of, you know, people you want to work with, I'm surprised you didn't name a special someone from Julie and the Phantoms. Oh, my gosh. I see that there's oh. a slight crush on someone. From <laughs> uh -huh. now, who, now, who would that be? Um, the amazing and incredible and awesome um, Charlie Gillespie. Uh, can I, you know what? I get it, girl. I'm a grown woman, and when he sang "Unsaid Emily," I was like, "Whoa!" He's no, I know. I life. cry every I single was... time. Ah, the lyrics were so great in that oh, song. Yeah. Now he's adorable. My mom started to cry. <laughs> I, I really did. And Isaiah, I'm... for you, don't get embarrassed, but I. I've seen a couple of girls are you about like, to, are, oh. is Isaiah single? So let me just oh, go ahead. Okay. I That's thought you were about to expose my secret crush. Like, <laughs> so are you single? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, <laughs> he, he paused. <laughs> he yeah. better be. Both of you guys are so no, young. No, I can't keep that a secret from my mom. Yeah, no, you guys are so young. Focus on school. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we, I have an entire career ahead of me, so boys. Right, that part. That I can part. dream about, you know, 19 and 20 year olds, but I'm not really interested. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And then I have a bone to pick with both of you. I was witness, I witnessed the uh, Netflix UK interview and they asked both of you, um, what was the question about the moms? Uh, what do you do better than your mothers? And oh, what was yeah. your answer, Yaya? Uh, my answer was I can play instruments. And I'm probably more flexible than her, and I think I'm more tech savvy. Okay, so when you talked about flexibility, I was like, yeah, yeah, flexible. Do you dance? I do. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that's I haven't stretched, so I can go way further than that. But that's just me not stretching. So, okay. um, yes, I have. I trained in dance for two years before I, you know, started going to LA and New York. Okay. Well, that's something we have in common. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. And what about you, Isaiah? My answer was I do parkour and tricking better than my mom. Mm -hmm. I do. But who did you learn how to do gymnastics from? I learned how to do gymnastics from my uncle. <laughs> oh, <it's not. laughs> no, it's funny because people don't know that his grandmother was a gymnast. I was a gymnast. And so he's he's been raised around it. So I'm like, he's always bragging that he's the best. Which I, he is I, in the family by far. Yeah, he, I just, like, I I wish I could do flips, like, the side flips and the everything, just all the flips and cool tricks that he does, like, is so cool, and I feel like he, the way that he incorporated that into the film was, like, so incredible. Thank so, you, thank you. When you go and you fight all the aliens and you do the little punch punch on the guy. Oh, my Bruce Lee punches. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so we kind of went into a different direction, but I have a few more lightning round questions. So... Um, what's your favorite color? My favorite color, my two favorite colors are black and blue. Um, they're, I said that they're the color of a blue brown. That's my favorite, um, one of my favorite colors, of course, so. Okay, okay. My favorite colors are black and red. Okay, where's your favorite place to shop? What's your go-to place? You're always so dressed so cute. Oh my gosh, thank you. Um, vintage store, any kind of vintage anything, I will always shop there. Okay, always. Isaiah? Me. Zara, mm. <laughs> and this place that we uh, um uh that we ju like just started going to called It's a Wrap. Oh, that's vintage. That's vintage. So yeah. it is. Yeah. Vintage. Okay, vintage. Yeah, that's so uh, that's cool. Um, okay, and uh, you know what? I see a whole lot of questions popping up. So you guys, if you have questions for the two of them, please go ahead and put it in there now. Um, a lot of people want to know how old you are, Yaya. I am 11, and I will turn 12 on January 26th. Oh, you have a birthday coming up. What are you going to yeah. do to celebrate? What are you going to do to celebrate? 
Oh, sorry. I thought, sorry, I thought you said something else. Um, I actually haven't thought of it yet. You know, being in New York, the possibilities are endless. Um, I, I kind of want to go to Rockefeller Center. Um, that's kind of what we did um, on my sister's birthday, but I love Rockefeller Center so much. It's one of the best places in New York. And I also want to eat a lot of pastrami on my birthday. I know that's kind of lame, but I love pastrami so much, so I probably just want to stuff my face with pastrami on my birthday. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, well, I mean, I can't even believe, gosh. I feel like we just celebrated your 11th birthday. I can't <sighs> been that long since we filmed we can be heroes no, i know i feel like you know you'd think that 2020 would be a really long year oh. but i kind of feel like it passed by pretty quickly it really it did. really did i can't believe that it's january 2nd yes yeah. interesting okay what's your favorite book guys Oh, um, right now I'm loving this series, Percy Jackson. It's one of my favorite series ever. Um, and yeah, that's probably my favorite book. And then my favorite um, book of all time that's not in this series is called The One and Only Ivan. Um, I love that book so much. My favorite Okay, book what about you? My favorite book is this book called Male vs. Men by Dondre Whitfield. It's a really good book, very enlightening. And I also uh, um, like reading this uh, series called The Animorphs. It's about kids who saved the world from kind of kind of funny because it's kind of <laughs> like us who saved the world from aliens, but instead of uh, superhero kids, they are shapeshifters. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so they turn into different animals. Okay, so someone asked, how do you guys memorize your lines? How do you prepare? Um, I mean, when you've done this for almost five years, you kind of like, you know, can look at something and like memorize it in the moment um but when i was starting out um i didn't know how to read yet um so i would uh remember the other person's last two words of their lines so that i would know that it was my turn to go so if a person had so their last two words i would memorize those so that i knew okay. that it was my turn to go next and then with monologues i just take it two sentences at a time so then i go two four six eight and that's kind of Ooh. how i memorize like big chunks okay what about you i kind of did the same thing but instead of memorizing the last two i just memorized the last the last word in the other person's line so i can remember that that's my turn it to go you. yeah and when it comes to my lines, my mom is my uh, my mom is my coach, so she helps me out when it comes to um, like monologues and the harder stuff. But um, fun fact, I'm a Kira's coach too. Oh <laughs> so my God. We just roll as a family around here. <laughs> yeah. So really, I I call myself a speed memorizer because I can memorize yeah. stuff in like. 30, minutes it's 30 minutes if it's yeah. like a long uh it's a so long unfair script. yeah it's true <laughs> okay so someone asked what is your what was your favorite scene to film and we can be heroes uh my favorite scene to film would probably be the tightrope scene when i walk on the tightrope and then fall and then get pulled back up by noodles um that was really fun because robert just had like such a particular way that he wanted to do it and it made me so like motivated to want to do it right and right. it was just so fun getting to, you know, do that on green screen and then see it, like, come to life. Yeah. That's one of my favorite scenes. Okay, what about you? One of my favorite scenes, I gotta say, because it, it also kind of made me feel real... It also made me feel a little emotional by, uh, while watching it, was while we were inside the alien jail when you were trying to make us cry. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I remember that day because you and Lion, do you do you guys remember you guys couldn't stop we crying? We couldn't stop crying. We were just and it, tears were over. Oh uh, my gosh. Heather and I at Lion's mother, we were like They were what's worried happening. The two of them in the picture. They just like hugged each other. It was so emotional. I didn't know. I that know. I think crying. Yeah, it's because like filming was starting to come to an end. Like I think we filmed that like two or yeah, three before end. wrap. So like just like the moment in realizing that like that was about to end and like we weren't going to see each other for a long time yeah. just made everybody so emotional and that scene is it's very emotional but it's also kind of funny because when missy like tries to explain it to wheels and then the face that annie makes when he goes that face is yeah. so funny and then when i wink at wild card and he goes but i guess this really is the end 
So there, are quite, so there are a few really funny parts in that scene that I love, but that scene definitely is pretty emotional. You know what? Um, it, when you talk about the end, Halla rapped before you guys oh, did. Yeah. Because, yes, and Halla, I, I think that child is going to be oh a my God. huge great. star. Yeah, I, great. To be so young, Halla is what? Um, 11. 11? 11? Yeah, oh. to tap into that sinister side to play a host. Like, yeah. who is this little girl? She, she was freaking me out. Yeah, it was yeah she, she, she gave she, us that look in the other scene. I was like, <laughs> you said. <laughs> yeah, Hal is uh, pretty special. But I just remember all the, the tears, you know, as you guys started to, uh, you, you know, finish. We didn't this, want that moment to Filming the movie, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, last day was just like, I remember uh, Kate, she was the girl that brought us our breakfast. She was one of the PAs, and she walked into my trailer, and she goes, your last breakfast, and like <laughs> handed everybody their last breakfast of shooting, and that was like the moment where I was like, oh my God, like, oh my God, it's done. Yeah. Like, and it just made me so sad, but thinking about us doing a sequel makes me so happy. Yeah, you know, so a lot of people are saying they've watched the film like 10 times, 12 times, and I just want you guys to know, like, it's hard for us to see all of the comments, but how grateful are you guys that the fans are going crazy? I mean, number one in the U.S., two I'm globally. grateful. Let's Thank you guys so much yes. for watching. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Really appreciate that. Yes, I never would have imagined it even being in the top – top 10 charts in general like yeah I just can't believe it yeah. seeing it on the list this was literally my face when i saw it i was like <laughs> yeah it was crazy seeing that we were number one yeah <laughs> i think it's what's pretty awesome is even in my dms about it you know you get love from <laughs> india from brazil from you know different fans in in countries that you don't even it's, it's like hard to process that they're supporting, you know, your project or that yeah. they know who you are. Yeah, and the fact that they, you know, yeah, even the people that like barely speak English that, you know, love me so much. And it just makes me like, I just want to learn every language now so that I can talk to everybody and so that I can like tell them that like, I'm so grateful for their, you know, support and everything that they've given us, you know? Yeah. Someone asked both of you, what are your, what was your first acting roles? Um, my first, wait, hold on, let me, I think, hold on. So, Isaiah, you want to answer oh. with your first? I think my first acting role was Raven's Home. Yeah. Raven's Home. And I was oh, so, yeah. I, I couldn't believe it. He had only been signed for three weeks. <laughs> with his first guest star. I was like, <laughs> I had given him this long speech that it was going to take a while to book a, a job. Yeah. going to be a lot of rejection, <laughs> Yeah, my mom, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, my first about? project was probably, um, a film called Lord Finn. Um, I filmed that when I was like six or seven. I can't really remember what age I was, but I was really, really, really little. Um, that was probably my first project. Okay. Okay. And, you know, I, I want to go back to, and this is kind of random, but it was something that I was thinking. Um, both of you are huge fans of Julie and the Phantoms, and I think it's such a phenomenal um, series. But what kind of sticks out to me is that Madison, you know, talked about how she was just shocked that she was going to be able to play a lead because there's not a lot of Latina leads, yeah. you know, on, on Netflix series, especially young. Um, is she someone that inspires you? Absolutely. And I also love about Ma what I love about Madison is that before GATP, she had not done anything. She was, you know, going to a, a performing arts school and she was, you know, she played guitar and piano and all these instruments and she just had so much talent. And then I love about Kenny Ortega that he finds people that are like raw and like really have incredible talent and are not these like Disney people that have done Disney for years, you know? Yeah. And so putting her into that role like just made me like oh my gosh he like actually wants to find people that are like out there and haven't done anything yet you know it's just so incredible to me yeah you you have to give jada a shout out you, isaiah's friends with jada what's her character name flynn flynn oh my gosh i love her character so much yeah yeah it's funny she's hilarious so I, I saw a question. People want to know, how do you guys work and go to school? 
Um, so for me on my show, um, basically what I do is I film for however long, and then if they ever need to switch a camera angle or take a break or something, I just go upstairs to my dressing room and do school for 20 to 30 minutes, and I kind of do them in chunks. So I'll do school for 20 minutes and then go and shoot and then school for 20 minutes. Basically, you have to bank hours. So if you yeah, have many, so however many hours you have a day, you know. Um, so, yeah. And honestly, I feel like I found a really good balance between, you know, work and school. Because at first, I just didn't want to do school at all. But I feel like now I found more of a balance. Yeah, what about Yeah. That? So on my show, it's, it's kind of the same when they're, like, trying to change the camera angle while we're shooting. We go upstairs to uh, go to school for 20 to 30 minutes to get a block in. That's what they call it. Yeah. And sometimes they want us to bank um, at least two hours or yeah. just an hour if we don't have that much time before we wrap. Yeah. Um, I feel like I've I feel like I've gotten a steady balance too. Of being able yeah. to, being juggle, able to school juggle school and work. and work and keep my grades up. Yeah, it's like you have to switch from like math and science and language arts to memorizing your lines and you know doing a scene it's like a very quick switch yeah. <laughs> and for me math is already stressful enough those yes me too a lot of questions in those, mm -hmm. in all, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> on those tests <laughs> uh english <laughs> okay so a couple more questions guys and then i gotta let these babies go so let's see <laughs> Oh, I love that. Yaya is such a unique name. It is. Oh, thank you. I've actually never I, 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 I like it. There's Yaya. another actress, Yaya, who's on Chicago Med, who's yeah, yeah. incredibly talented as well. And then a lot of people are wanting to know, will there be a part two? We don't know yet. We don't know. I hope so. But crossing our fingers and everything that we have to hope. Yeah, and for everyone asking, just so you guys know, we really genuinely don't know. So it's up to you Seriously. guys, like, especially like on Instagram, you have to go to Netflix Families page, Netflix page, Netflix film, and let them know that that's what you want to see a part two. Yeah. And that would, that would really help push because, that. Yes. Yeah, because a part two will be possible because of you guys. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anything else that you guys want to mention before we go off well mm -hmm. yeah yeah tell everybody about the show that they can watch you on now oh we know okay. there are 13 reasons why but yes. what else um so fbi most wanted um you can catch it on cbs um 10 p.m eastern i think i'm pretty right. sure um i get confused with the time zones <laughs> um but yeah 10 p.m eastern um it's starring the incredible julie mcmahon who plays my father on the show and i play um Ta tally um, yeah, and so you can catch me there almost every Tuesday. Okay. okay, and Isaiah, where can people catch your series? You can catch Family Reunion on Netflix. It's already out, so don't worry, guys. <laughs> uh, for those who haven't seen the uh, first season, check it out. And for those who have, second season, we don't know when it's coming out, but it's, it's coming out soon. It's coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Yaya, do you have any questions for us before we get off? Um, you feel like you asked them all? I Yeah, I think so, honestly. Well, I just want to say it one more time. I know Isaiah's, you know, my baby in real life, but just in general, like all of you guys getting to know all of the kids um, summer before last was absolutely incredible. Um, Lion, Dylan, Halla, Vivian, um, Nathan. you, Nathan, like Andy, just all brilliant, brilliant, brilliant kids. And I can't wait to see what you guys have coming up next because I think all of you are superstars. And it's just going to be, I, I can't wait to, to witness the journey of each and every one of you. You're all really special. And I'm glad that people are able to witness, even if it's just a glimpse of how talented all of you are. Because to do your own stunts and to work opposite so many incredible actors, it's yeah. adult actors. Yeah. It's just fun. It's yeah. Fun. So incredible. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye, Nugget. And one of these days, you're going to have to jump in on a TikTok with us. So we see oh, you. my gosh. Yes, absolutely. I love watching you guys' TikToks. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. We have a good time. Now that I know you dance, I'm, you have to put that leg trick in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
great. Bye, baby. Tell Bye. Your mom Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.